Tide for the cleanest clothes in town and Came, the soap of beautiful women, present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison and Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Good evening, television friends. I certainly am very happy to be here in front of our stage once again. It seems like centuries, or I might even see, say it seems like a peon since I have been here. Hmm? Eons, I beg your pardon. It seems like eons since I have been here uh, addressing the drama loving public that we know you to be. <clears throat> Tonight, the Kukulpalan players are going to present another show which I think is, will, will probably stand high uh, throughout the years uh, as a dramatic triumph. Uh, I don't usually bandy my words about, so you can take my word for it. I've watched the rehearsals, and I, I really I take great pride in presenting this show tonight. You don't need to hurry me, my dear. You're not in it tonight, so relax. I will not shave it off. Now, <clears throat> the play tonight is a lovely a little play about a little girl. It's a simple little play. Something simple and sweet and pure. The kind of thing that we go for here, and I'm sure you will too. It's about a little girl living in the small town. And has one of our favorite, one of our favorite characters in it, Mr. Jenkins, the station master, is back with us again. You no, no doubt will remember Mr. Jenkins from another play. This play takes place in the same town, uh, with a few different characters, but it has that same poignant meaning that the play before had. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> a word about the Kukupal. Oh, I haven't given the title. The title of our play is called Little Small Town Girl. And it's a quite a lovely thing, I think, with music specially arranged for this occasion by Mr. Jack Passionato. Uh, let me see. Oh, yes. <clears throat> uh, tide used in the first act through the courtesy of Proctor & Gamble. Now, <clears throat> a word about the Cucopolitan players. I know that many of you have little theater groups, and uh, you may be interested in the activities of another little theater group and the way we work. We have a slogan here at the Kukopolitan Playhouse, and that slogan is, there are no stars, there are only players. I want you to think about that for a minute. 30 seconds. 15. All right, now that you've thought it over, I want to explain that. No one in the Kukopolitan Players ever argues about a part that he or she is given. If they don't like it, they just walk up. Hmm, what? <laughs> However, now, for instance, today in a play in the part of uh, the older sister, Pearl, Miss Beulah Witch is playing a part which many, many young actresses, uh, I don't care how old she is, she's young to me, many young actresses would hesitate to play because it is not particularly a flattering role. It's a character role, but Miss Beulah Witch entered into this play with full heart. She said, I don't care. I love any part that you give me. It's great, great. And she is doing a part that really is not flattering. She's not wearing clothes that are flattering to her, nor is she a, a playing a, a part that is young and sweet and lovely like many ladies on the stage would like to do. She, she is a real trooper, and that is, that is the entire spirit of the Kukupalum players. I know you're going to enjoy her work tonight. She may not get any glamour roles from it, but I wouldn't be surprised if she won some sort of award of some sort. <clears throat> well, I believe it's a high time for the curtains to, to get going and to open. Our first scene, uh, it takes place in the home of Violet and Pearl. Violet is a younger sister, a lovely, beautiful young girl, and Pearl, her sister, who has a teacher school in the small town and who has long taken very good care of her. And she is packing to go away. The scene is uh, 
in the living room of Pearl and Violet's residence. We'll have the curtain, please. monkey wrenches for Christmas. Yes, dear. But those things are practical. You must think of the practical side. Too long have I thought of the practical. From now on, I intend to be gay. I fear we cannot change your mind. Alas, no, Homer. Well, are you Homer? No. You came in a scene too early, too. Oh, no, no, I didn't. No, no, I... This is the right... my understanding that you came in the second act. Please, Kukapalum players. There are no stars, only, only players. players. Should we think about that? If we think any more, we won't have any show at oh. all. <laughs> well, I didn't want to be this in this in the first place. I'll leave. Please. Please, Violet, reconsider. No. If you put your hand in front of me once again, just once again, you cover me. I don't mind being like this at all. I like these rules where... Look at the girl that won wonderful Academy Awards playing roles with her hair down and, and, you know, ugly roles. I don't mind that at all. But I'd like them to at least see me. Okay. So, my dear, you will not reconsider. I will not reconsider. I'm supposed to handle the suitcase. I wish you would reconsider, my dear. Well, I'll be glad to. I will think it over for the next five minutes, and I will, and I will let you know. Oh, do not bother to think it over for the next few minutes. If your mind is made up, it's made up. That's all. I've made it back up here now. I have a big speech coming about the delivery boy. Remember? Well, delivery. <clears throat> <laughs> Of all the cheap tricks I ever saw in my life. I can wave a handkerchief, too. They're going to watch me now. You know very well, dear, that Homer, the delivery boy, has wanted you to be... Homer works in a hardware store. What's the delivery boy's name? I have to think. Oh, honestly. Francis. Girls, Edgar. girls, remember the slogan. There are no stars, only players. players. Egbert is the delivery boy. Oh, great, Egbert. My dear, you must, you must reconsider. Egbert is such a sweet young boy. He soon will be in charge of the grocery store. You could stay here, and I can keep on with my teaching. Whatever will I do without you? That do is... not go to the big city, you. Don't interrupt me. Do not go to the big city. Please do not go to the 
me. Wait. That must be the delivery boy now. Well, it's about time. Where do I put the things? Put them right down there in the kitchen table. Egbert, you better go in. She's made up her mind. She's in the living room. Hello, Barbara. Oh, it is you, Egbert. Yes. Certainly nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. You all dressed up? Your hair's off the ribbon straight. I'm going away. You mean you have not reconsidered? I have reconsidered, and I'm going. Violet, I implore you. Think of the pitfalls in the city. It's a silly thing for you to go. You will be lost. It's a wonderful thing what a girl can do in the city on $18 a week. Oh, I'll come. Day after day, delivering the groceries. It'll be no fun again. No fun. My heart will be broken, Violet. But I will wait. I will wait. Look what I brought you. Would you like to see a present I brought you? Yes, I love presents. How dull. Grocery store. That is not the life for me. I brought this package of ties for you, Violet. Oh, how lovely. It reminds me of the wonderful days we passed together doing the laundry. Yes. And I, I've always thought how wonderful it was because everybody, everywhere in our little town here, they said, they said that Violet has the cleanest wash in town because she uses ties. Well, I will take it with me and then I will be known as the girl with the cleanest wash in the city. But, but, Marla, please, you, you must reconsider, please. Well, you, you there in the city, you, you won't have me to help you. And I, I don't need any help with tides. Oh, Violet. It's well, the new washing miracle. I, I, I know that the tide gets clothes cleaner than any soap. But just think, think there in the city, when, when you've done your, your wash with tide and, and you rent your clothes out and hang them up and think Egbert I'll... won't be there to help hold the clothes. No, but I'll think how proud of me you would have been had you been there. Violet, there's nothing I can do to dissuade you. Nothing. Well, I was thinking maybe this year we could do spring cleaning together. Because here at the grocery store, you know, I'm very close to Tide. And I could bring up a package of Tide every so often and we could... We could, well, we could wash dishes and glassware and linoleum and the painted walls and woodwork and the windows, because Tide washes everything. I know. It'll be a great help to me in the city. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. You're taking the 5.15? The 5.15. I'll be waiting for you, Violet. End of scene one. Scene two, the station. <laughs> well, 5.15 is due pretty soon. Except for no packages going on it today. <laughs> oh, well, that doesn't matter. She always stops anyway. Hello, Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> well, Pearl. No, Violet, I always get you two mixed up. I don't know why. <clears throat> oh? Well, little Violet, you're going away, I I'm see. I'm going to the city. You're what? I'm going to the city. For a visit? No, I'm going to seek my fortune. Violet, you're not leaving our little town. Give me one of your best tickets. Violet. Violet, you... Oh, this could not be. I expect to become very famous, very successful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What's happened to the ticket? Couldn't find it. Had to use the paper skin. Remember the slogan. Uh, oh, <clears throat> there are no stars, only, only the players. players. <clears throat> Violet, dear, please. You, you must reconsider. There are many pitfalls in the city. No, I've thought it all over. What about the boys here in the little small town? They are not for me. I'm afraid you're just a little small town girl with big town dreams. There are dreams in your eyes, something gleams in your eyes. You're restless and long 
begging to roll, roll. If you wander away, you'll regret it someday. Remember, there's no place like home. Little small town girl with a big town dream. Why don't you stay where you are? Little small town girl with a big town scheme. You needn't reach for a star. Each little dream that you're looking for, you'll find in the arms of the boy next door. Little small town girl, all your big town dreams will come true. In your own home town. It is of no use, Mr. Jenkins. I hear the train coming now. Say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye. Good luck, my dear. Thank you, we'll Mr. Jenkins. We'll always be waiting for you. If you want to come home, remember the 515. I'll never forget the 515. Wait! Violet! Violet! She has big dreams, that girl. Come on, Pearl. I'll walk you home. <laughs> End of uh, Act One. <clears throat> I'll change your costume, please. Uh... Wait a minute, that's a... I couldn't... That's the delivery boy? No, it's back door, silly. Uh, Brian, would you get the door? Can somebody else get it? I'll get We're in the middle of a play. Who's, who's ringing the... Uh, 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 Just a minute. Brian, get the door. Come in. Surprise. Oh, are Hi, you? Oh, are you, Come on, players, everybody on the oh, stage. See, well, they need to buy Kukla. Oh, I mean, think of that's ready to start. Oh, they look who's ready. here. Oh, yeah. I didn't see Hi. Hi, Coos. Robert, you oh, yeah. doing? Hey, it's good to see you. What are you doing in town? Well, I'm just in town for the Red Cross, reminding Chicagoans about the Red Cross, you know, and the important work that they're doing. And we did that. You know, we, 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 we had a river. I know. I saw, oh, I saw a big show about the Red Cross. Well, sure. Cooper Pollins, we're all made our pledge, and we're working I on it. I know. It's what are you wearing? Oh, it's a part of play we're doing. Oh, yeah? Oh, hi. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, look who's here. Hi. Well, excuse me. I'm Mr. Jenkins, the station station master. We're, we're just a about wonderful to... wig. Where's your wig? Isn't that great? Yeah, I'd like to see the play. Uh, where's the... Susie? Yeah. She's in the play. Oh, she's doing a great job, too. Oh, it's wow. a big dramatic triumph. Oh. You came just... Too bad you didn't get here early. Gee, I'd love that. to have seen it. Well, I can catch you up. In the... Would you like to come up for a minute and say hello? Well, I, I don't know. Well, look, uh, yeah. Brian, come on and tell Bob about the first act. We'll go get Busey. Oh, it's sure, it's, I will. See, we're, we'll act. Oh, we'll see right after the show. Oh, this is great. Well, oh, it's a tickle to know that you're here. Well, thanks. You know, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you since you got back. Well, you were California. wonderful. Kuko and Ali were so happy that oh, you stopped in to see him while I was gone. I had a wonderful time. You were great, too, because I saw the show. Yeah, I want to see it myself. Maybe you're we'll wonderful. You, uh, we got the kinescope. We'll show you later. Yeah, that's that's what I want to see. Hey, you don't think I need any more lipstick for the second act? I don't think so. Look, it's a real bad show. But before you start the second act, please tell Busey I'm here. Oh, oh yeah. gee, this this is a wonderful play. Tell her what, it's a, tell, well, tell about what it's, it's in a small a town, part. and um, I play the part of a young and and um, a beautiful girl. Oh. And, and uh, Beulah, uh, oh bless her heart, she's so yeah. wonderful. She's a great actress. Oh, girl, I know that. And she plays the part of my of um, a school teacher. <laughs> Of a school teacher, and um, and uh, something the matter, uh, No, <laughs> something no. going on. Um, uh, uh, oh, the players, and um, what? Uh, uh, what wouldn't oh, you what? like? To, what? Uh, I don't know. Uh, wouldn't you like to sit down out here and uh, get you a cup of tea or you something? You all right, Franny? Yes, I'm fine. Come yeah, right yeah. on. All right.
like a role. You've got me for real. Imagine him. Imagine him. Well, I'm not going to play the part. You know, we've got to finish the well, show. Somebody's we've... got to do it. I'm not going to do it. That's all there is to it. Look, we can play. I can play Violet the card. That's me. That's right. That's you. Come on. Come on, Francis. Honestly, everything will be lost. Well, I'll... I didn't know he was coming or anything. I... You, you play Violet. I am playing Val. You may be I Pearl. Mean, Pearl. All right. You be. I'll be the younger sister. Thanks, dear. I'll. I'll make this up to you some way. Where's the powder puff against the pancake house? Where's the chin strap? Hurry up. Both my lashes. Scalp. No, no. Scalp. There will be a slight delay. <laughs> there are. Uh, uh, there are no players. Oh, no. There are stuck. Oh. Well, sir, <laughs> we, uh, isn't it? We're awfully glad to have you here. And, uh, we're, uh, going to change the scenery in just a few minutes and have, uh, our next, um, uh, our next, the scenery's got, oh, never mind. And, uh, we're going to have the next scene take place down at the, Fran, are you going to play the part? I guess so. I can't find a pair of glasses to stay on. Coop, Coop, leading ladies change. What do you mean? You, you, when, 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 uh, when Violet comes back to the to the small town after being a failure in the big city, you know, then uh, it's uh, you have to embrace her and kiss her. Yeah, I know. I'm getting all ready for that. Well, it's gonna be Beulah. I just can't help. There are no it. players in the Coop Town Players. I quit. <laughs> I, I can't. I look too good anywhere I do it. Come on. <clears throat> Our next scene is down at the station. Uh, poor Mr. Jenkins. Poor... The whole play is being ruined. I don't know. Where... Poor Mr. Jenkins. Every night has waited for the 515. And this is a... Well, we have to tell the show. I can't narrate the whole thing. I'll be... I'll, I'm in the station now. Come on. Okay. Who are you now? Pearl? Pearl. The older sister. Uh. Rock of yonder 515. Oh, Mr. Jenkins, I didn't know you were here. Uh, Anybody get off yesterday? I missed it yesterday. I know you missed it. What happened? What happened? I was making out for the last report card. Last report? I've lost my job. You mean grieving over violence? I've been neglecting my work. Pearl, I have news for you. Tonight is the last time that the 515 will stop at this little station. No. Yes. Oh, with my last, last touch. <laughs> no that was my last remaining touch with Violet. Well, we could sit here tonight and Watch the old 515 come in and just pretend that maybe, maybe she's coming in on it. Remember? I can just see her now vaulting off the train. <laughs> I can remember that night so well. How many years ago was it? Oh dear, how many was it? You've never heard. Let me so. see. <laughs> You've got to I, take it. I can't. <laughs> oh, do it with Adam. No, I like them. Do it if it takes all winter. Let's see how long it's been. Can you just remember? Can't you just remember that night? Well, I've night? run three groups clear through from the first to the eighth. Twenty-four years, ain't it? Twenty-four years. Twenty-four years. Never thought I'd last. I can just, I can just see her that night. Remember when we both stood here? Oh, there were tears in my eyes. I said to her at the time, I said, little small town girl. That was my note. Uh, uh, yes. Who can remember it for yes. 24 years? <laughs> little small town girl, we're the big town dream. Why don't you stay where you are? Little small town Find in the arms of the boy next door. Hello, small 
dream will come true in your own. Oh. Camay Bride, Mrs. Jules Alexander, with that new gold ring on her finger and stars in her green, green eyes. Have you ever seen a softer, smoother complexion? Well, Jean's in her new home now, and just listen to what she has to say about Camay. I'm simply thrilled with Camay. I guess you'd call it a case of love at first cake. You see, my first cake of Camay brought a new smoothness and freshness to my skin. Exciting things happen when you change to regular care. Use Came and Came alone. Smooth Came's rich, creamy, fragrant lather over your face. And by the time you've finished your first cake of Came, you'll have a clearer, lovelier complexion. Remember, there's no finer beauty soap in all the world than Came, the soap of beautiful women. The musical director of Kukla Fran and Ali is Jack Passionato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Gamowitz, and the costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And this is Bert Tilstrom. There are no stars, only players. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie has been brought to you from Chicago by Came, the soap of beautiful women, and Tide for the cleanest clothes in town.
NBC Television. Mm-hmm.